I'm in your city, I'm spinning. When I get back, we're spinning. Right, we back on Smoke Sports, and we got another special guest, Morgan Very. I'm going to introduce yourself. What's going on, y'all? I'm glad to be here with my boy Remy today with Smoke Sports. I'm um, Simeon Gatlin from Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, a senior, about to be a senior. I played defensive back at Morgan. Uh, went to Dudley High School uh, in Greensboro, North Carolina. But I'm glad to be here today. Greensboro, he's from the South. So talk about how that that Southern, like, hospitality, like, what is, like, everything down south, like, that football, like, yeah. sports down south, what do you talk about that? Like, uh, well, like, everything different down south, for real, like, when I came up here and I was saying, like, yes, ma'am, and yes, sir, like, people was looking at me crazy, but, uh, that's really just how, like, everybody got manners down south, like, that's how we was raised. Uh, food-wise, you know, we got the soul food, mac and cheese, yams, the fried chicken, yeah, for sure. all that good stuff. Uh, but, you know, Maryland got good food, too, so I don't need one down play Maryland. Like, Maryland <laughs> ain't got good food as well. But uh, y'all know, like, in the South, football, real big deal. So everybody really grow up playing football. Uh, we got a lot of big-time guys coming out of Greensboro. Keenan Allen, mm -hmm. uh, DJ Reader. We got a lot of pro balls coming out of Greensboro. So, like, football really, like, it's a way of life ever since she was young, for real. But uh, really big on basketball, too, because, you know, they call Carolina the hoop state. But, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So growing wow. up in North Carolina, like, sports just ingrained in you. Like, that's just something you do from a young age. You went to UNC first, right? Yeah, out of high school. So yeah. talk about, like, your recruiting in high school. Like, you had a lot of offers, like. Uh, my recruiting was weird out of high school, uh, really. Like, me and my head coach ain't get along, so, like, it was a little funny stuff going on, my recruiting and stuff. Because my first offer was LSU. Wow. Uh, off the rip, that was my first O, but, right, yeah, me and my coach wasn't, like, really seeing eye to eye. I don't really want to get into all that yeah, details school, and all that. But, yeah, um, I had LSU, and then I had Army, I had Navy, I had James Madison, and um, times kept ticking and ticking. And uh, I ended up going to Carolina. I wanted to stay closer to the home. Yeah, that's cool. uh, I grew up a Carolina basketball fan. Like going to Carolina was a big deal. Like we being from North Carolina, going to Carolina a big deal. Really not for football, but now it's getting right with Mac Brown. Like yeah, nah, right. I like it. Yeah, yeah. they changing. Nice yeah. little quarterback. Yeah, they, they building oh, yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah they, they building, building it up. up. But yeah, like sure. when I, when I was in high school, like people kind of looked down on Carolina, but you know. It was in my blood ever since I was young, so mm -hmm. I just was like, I'm, I'm gonna go to Carolina. So, yeah. so what happened there? Like, how you ended up like leaving? Yeah, so uh, basically, like, I wasn't really, I wasn't rocking with my coaches like in my playing time mm -hmm. for real. Uh, I was playing special teams mostly, uh, reserve, and uh, no slight to them, I just felt like I deserved more playing time. Nah, you wasn't seeing out of eye. Like the work business decision. Yeah, like work. yeah, yeah sure. I, I left. I went to JUCO. Uh, play the year at Juco and ended up here at Morgan. So Juco, he went to Iowa. Iowa Western, Western, Western. Yeah. Talk about the Juco life, man. Talk about that Juco yeah. life, the struggles. Like, okay, I, I ain't even gonna sit here and lot of y'all, like, I had a great Juco. Like, we finished, like, second in the nation. Like, mm -hmm. we had good dorms. Uh, we had food. I ain't gonna say it was good, but we had yeah. food to eat, uh, breakfast, sure. lunch, and dinner. Um, we had a nice locker room. Like, I had a good Juco experience personally, but I know a lot of people that I went to Jugo there, they went to other Jugos before that and mm -hmm. after that. I keep in touch with them. And everybody experience not the same, but yeah. like like people who watch last chance, you wouldn't think every Jugo like that. Like that's it's not even the case. Like, you yeah. got some you got some Jugos like that, you got some good Jugos, like it just really depends on which one you go to. But uh, everybody in Jugo Jugo deal with the same struggle, bro. Mm -hmm. Like you grinding every day, like you try and get back D1 or you try and get D1, like you out there on your own, like most people fall away from their families, like you just really out there grinding, trying to get a scholarship, bro. That's crazy. I got a couple of friends, like one of my one of my homeboys, uh, yeah. he went to the indie school. Okay. And then he had to go to, he went to another JUCO in Texas, but he had to go, he went to two JUCO. Yeah. Now he had Oregon State, but. Bro, that's a lot of like yeah. politics and JUCO that people don't even realize about, bro. Like people be getting messed over, like, People bring in bounce bags, they play them over them. Like it's a whole other yeah. dynamic that people don't know about, bro. Like it'll be some nice people that uh, go from a like, big power five to a JUCO, and you might never hear them again because they just got lost in the sauce. So, like it's a lot of stuff you gotta deal with JUCO because, like, really you policing yourself. Like you gotta be on your schoolwork. Like you gotta stay focused because mm -hmm. if you don't, like you'll just fall by the wayside, bro. And, 
it's a wrap for you. Yeah, I be, I be trying to tell everybody that. Cause I be saying they want to go juke. I mean, like, go both ways, mm -hmm. go south. Juco not yeah, sweet, yeah, bro. It's not. It's, everybody not built for Juco, bro. And how you come to Morgan, though? Yeah. Like, you had, did you have any other better schools? Uh, out of Juco, all I had was Morgan and you and I. You and I. So, you uh, and I pretty good. Like, they're good FCS yeah. schools, oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I really just didn't want to um, stay out there and I went no more. Uh, yeah. yeah. I was cool for the time being, but I just couldn't see myself out there for a long period of time. Uh, and Coach Jones had came out to my school at the time. Coach Jones was the coach. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, coach, coach Jones and Coach Fern, uh, they were super cool, yo. And Coach Jones had a good relationship with my head coach at Juco. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got that connection. Coach Jones came to my school. Uh, we hit it off for real. He was super cool. Uh, came out here on a visit, uh, middle of December. Mm -hmm. uh, I met Steph, I met Dex, yeah, I met Steph DJ. Yeah, that's funny, bro. That's yeah, my dog they're my, right they're there. They're my man from the yeah. jump since I got out here. So they showed me around. I had a good time, bro. And I was vibing with it. Um, I really was waiting. I was waiting. But uh, my last day here, I just had like a real good vibe about it. And I prayed about it. And I felt like God wanted me to be here. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and I really wanted to like see what the HBCU life was yeah. like, but I didn't want to go to NT like being mm -hmm. from going back to NT and nothing like that. So I'm glad I got up here in Maryland and just see a different HBCU, see a different view of things. Yeah, man. I I mean, I'm hoping you know after everything that's going on, like more black people gonna try to go to HBCU to yeah. start up a trend. Cause I mean, like we got several people. We got Darius Leonard. Tariq yeah. Cohen, we got several yeah. people in the league. Kyle Quinn playing basketball, like it just, it's just we can do it, bro. It just it, somebody just gotta not be scared, take that jump. All right, so, right. All right, so we are gonna take a step away from the sports. So, who you be listening to? Like, who your favorite yeah. rapper? Like, uh, okay, so overall, my favorite rapper is, is Drake, but right now, oh, my favorite rapper, Lil Baby, but Lil Baby just be speaking to me like. He too, he's so turn. solid. That's my turn. Bruh, he, my turn. he, he, he yeah. just talked that real, bruh. And he like, everything he talked about, like, it just be relating to me. Like, mm -hmm. maybe not the same situation, but like, I can feel like what he's saying, bruh. Like, like, one time in uh, Consistent, Lil Baby said, uh, he thought about like, he thought about killing himself. Like, he thought about ending it all, bruh. Mm -hmm. He said he looked up me, he seen God. He said he just kept working and he got an award. So that, that really hit me, bruh. Yeah. So like, I rock with Baby a lot. I rock with everybody for real. But like before the game, I'm rocking with Pop Smoke, mm -hmm. uh, Young Boy. Yeah. Uh, I definitely like Gunna. I like Herb. Like, yeah. it's a lot of talented rappers and musicians out here, bro. Yeah, nah, Young Boy get you turned for man. Bruh. And then when, yeah. when I got up here to Maryland, uh, everybody put me on the DMV music. Like, oh, yeah. uh, I like Lil Grey. I like Savage. Oh, Savage. Oh, Savage. Oh, I'm rocking. I'm, I rock with everybody, bro. Nah. For real, bro. Yeah. So if you got should pick between, you know, there's been a debate for a while. So who would you pick, Lil Baby, Young Boy? Uh, right now? Yeah, right now. Right now, Lil Baby got it, bro. Lil Baby, he lyrically got it. He made the best music. He solid. He real. Bro, he smart. He got his head on straight. He don't mm -hmm. be in no beef. Like, yeah. Lil Baby really somebody I look up to, but not even as just like a rapper, like as a person. Like, nah, he... Like, on yeah. getting money and just being about your business, bro. Lil Baby, mm -hmm. he got it, bro. He got the formula, bro. So I had to go with Baby. But I like Young Boy a lot, too, though. Young like, boy Young Boy hard. Young Boy turn. He drop mm -hmm. a bunch of music. Like, uh, Young Boy probably my most listened to artist because he got so much music. And, like, it's, and he, he versatile. Pain music. Yeah, he got the pain music. Yeah. He got the turn music. Like, mm -hmm. my little brother, all the young kids love Young Boy, but. I'm rocking with Young Boy too, but I gotta go, baby. Yeah, I'll say th one thing about Lil Baby, like he put his men on, like everybody yeah. in Full PF, they got money, like right. whether they rapping, they doing whatever, they he got money. They, they, they riding in foreigns too, bro. He, he set them up for uh, for success, and like I don't really know how Young Boy is with that, but I know uh, Jack Boy was talking about how yeah. you get the boys in the back room, get them mm -hmm. out the Nikes and all that, but yeah, yeah but baby. 4 PF, they got it, bro. Nah, they do. Yeah. Michael Jordan or LeBron? Michael Jordan, LeBron. Hey, everybody that know me know, bro. I'm the biggest Bron fan. One of the biggest Bron fans out yes, there. Absolutely. So I'm rocking with Bron all the way. But uh, I, I like the documentary, the last damn documentary. It was tough. Like, Jordan yeah. tough. Jordan tough for sure. Like, I see why the old heads say Jordan. Like, that's their generation. Mm -hmm. They seen all that. But, like, 
they say like Bron, bro, Bron had the biggest expectations on him coming into the league as a eighteen year old rookie, and he exceeded it, all mm-hmm. of it, bro. Now he he in his seventeenth year, he's thirty five years old, bro. He about to win the MVP, bro. He got a chance to he win got, the finals, yeah. bro. So I think he got about like two, like I don't know if he gonna get six rings though. He probably got like two uh, more. I don't in know, him. I don't know. I think I think he probably I think he got two more in him. Two bro. more in him, yeah. I don't think he needs six. I think I think if he get two more, yeah, I think he'd be fine with five rings. He might be. He fine. I mean, he fine. We have right now because what he top. Top, uh, he's number eight on assist, I believe. Yeah. Number three on all scoring. time scoring. So it's yeah. like he passed. Bro, I'm ridiculous, bro. That's yeah. another person I look up to. Just everything he do, like his preparation with his body, like he take mm-hmm. care of his body, bro. He ain't never had a major injury in 17 years, bro. He he's so athletic and big, like he take care of his body, just his business, like and how he give back to the community, and how he gets involved That's in big, everything, bro. bro. Like Brian really like. Brian, Brian is my role model, bro, mm-hmm. for real. Brian, Brian's who I look up to, bro. He the yeah. platform, he got the formula, bro. Yeah, that's crazy, because my family from that part of Ohio, like, more from Youngstown. From yeah, okay. from Youngstown, Cleveland yeah. area. So, like, I, I like I like saying that, because that, so Akron, I mean, I mean, it's poor. Like, yeah. Ohio, that part of Ohio is kind of poor. And Brian went in and built a school, like, doing a I don't know how you can hate Brian, bro. There's a lot of folks out there that hate, hate Brian, him, but, but he's doing don't. more than Jordan for the community, bro. They put that to the wayside, though, that. Yeah, nah, for sure. I know you've been seeing what's going on with, like, everything. Like, so what's your, what's your, yeah. like, how you feel about what's going on? Ah, uh, man, like everybody say, bro, we, we was, how, how old was I? 2012, I was 12. I was, I don't know, I was younger in 2012 mm-hmm. when Trayvon Martin got killed, bro. Mm-hmm. And ain't nothing changed, bro. And it's just sad. Like, I get tired of seeing... The same stuff on Twitter every day. And, like, it's bad because, like, it's just normal to me now at this point. Like, I don't mm-hmm. even get surprised when I see it. Like, I'm like, wow, when I see it. But it's, like, it's happening every day, bro. And we seeing it every day. And it's just, like, our people have been going through this for 400 years, bro. And I know people tired and everything. But, like, the whole riots and all that, like, I ain't going to say I disapprove of it. Because, mm-hmm. like, at this point, like, people fed up, bro. Like, we've been yeah. dealing with this. We've been trying to be peaceful. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's just not working, bro. So sometimes, like, you got to go to that more extreme place, bro. But I feel like some people moving out of the wrong intentions. Like, we got to move with the right, right intentions, bro. Like, people might not want his, but, like, God made everything happen for a reason, bro. And if we just if we rely on him to get through it, bro, it's not easy, bro. But, nah. like, I think you need I think you need a balance. I think you need... Like the good and the, like the evil to get through this, bro. Like you need the Malcolm X side mm-hmm. and you need the Martin Luther King, King side. side. Like you sure, need, sure, you yeah. can't just have all of one, bro. You need yeah. both. Cause like if, you, if we just violent and protesting and rioting, just breaking everything, then people gonna look at us as like animals and barbaric. But if we like too peaceful and just like keep letting this happen, then we gonna keep getting pushed over and stepped over. So. But I think I think I think stuff getting better. Like I just seen um the other cops got charged in the George yeah, Floyd case. Rest in peace, George right Floyd, that's by big. the way. I saw they got charged in that case, that's big, and they got down to second degree murder. So yeah. we making progress, bro. That's all that's really all we can do, bro. Yeah, my biggest thing, man, is like to like to stay hopeful, just keep fighting and then yeah. I voted, I voted, uh, like, yes, Y'all vote, bro. Yeah, you gotta vote, cause. You I, can't be out here talking yeah. about Trump this, Trump that, gotta and vote. not voting, mm-hmm. bro. And that's something with, with young black African American people, bro. Like, people just kinda be lazy, like, ain't even that they don't wanna vote, it's just they don't feel like getting registered. You're not gonna change, my vote don't matter. Like, not every, every vote matters. Every vote matters, yeah. bro. So, but yeah, man, I know it's a big topic in the world right now. Man. Yeah. What you been doing over there? I see you was working out. Yeah. What's your relationship with Tariq Cole? Uh, Tariq, you know, he my homeboy. You know, he went to A&T in Greensboro. Mm-hmm. I'm from Greensboro. Uh, so, you know, we get it in when I'm down there. Just work out. Uh, my guard brother, Hendon Hooker, played quarterback at Virginia Tech. They saw, they saw, uh, yeah. yeah, a couple other hometown guys, bro. I was down there the past two months, you know, with all the coronavirus. Uh-huh. Uh, I had to make sure I was still getting working, man. Um, 
And I'm I'm glad I got to work with Tariq. Uh, got to work with a couple other NFL pro guys. So just trying to stay sharp. You know, iron sharpen iron. They say. Yeah, so. nah, I seen that Johnny Post. He did get you on that. Yeah, he, I mean, and like, he got me, he but got I ain't gonna you. lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> got you the clips it. I got him, they ain't out there. Yeah. But I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find them for y'all. Nah, but that's good though, cause that's a that's an elite NFL player. Yeah. Like he's he's good. Like that's yeah. not no pushover. No, yeah. nah, he's a solid player. So yeah. I feel like he's gonna get better going up against. Exactly, them. and that's exactly why. Like, like, I don't, if I go out there, I'm going to just go out there. I'm going to do me. I'm going to try to lock up. If I get beat, I just get beat. Yeah, like, part of the game he get paid to do that. Yeah. Like, he only going to make me better. But like I said, like, it was going back and forth, bro. Like, mm -hmm. nah, man, good, I'm man. glad I got to get that work because a lot of people don't get to get that, bro. So mm -hmm. I'm thankful I got connections and I know people. And, like, I'm thankful that Tariq was out there to help me, too. Like, nah, sure. he was on some big bro stuff. Like, he like, like bro, like, you should have did this here so I could couldn't get here like he mm -hmm. was really helping me out and like, i really took that put it in the back of my head and now every time i go out there like i'm thinking like yo it's like Tariq told me to do this like so nah, yeah. that's love right there i feel like a lot of people though like that coming back giving back to the community like spending free game teaching like, i think we need that as a black community bro, and that's that's really something that i want to do bro like when i hopefully when i make it to the nfl and get the goals that i want to do for myself that's the mm -hmm. biggest thing that i want to do bro i want to use my platform to give back to people to help mm -hmm. teach to help coach like it's a lot of these like stars nfl players celebrities rappers like they got these platforms and they ain't using it for the right stuff bro. Right. Like, they're not promoting the right stuff not teaching to use the right stuff bro and that's really something that i want to do like that's one of the main reasons why i want to be successful so I can help impart the wisdom that people have taught in me back in the other season. season about to come up. So yeah. what's you graduated already, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah congrats, man. Appreciate man. Unless you and I'm not. No pressure, <laughs> appreciate man. That. Appreciate that's that. big though. I, I mean, like graduating for HBCU, that's cool, man. Like yeah. a lot of people think like that degree not gonna hold a lot, man. That's that's cool, bro. That's yeah. powerful right there. Yeah, it is, yeah. bro. And I had to tell myself the same thing, bro. Like when I graduated, I was just like, because we ain't got all the ceremonies and yeah. all that. So I'm just like, man, I graduated. Like, I expected to graduate, but at the same time, I realized, bro, like, everybody don't get this opportunity to graduate. Mm -hmm. Like, it's African-American men that's not even making it to 21, 22 to even be or get into college to even see a degree, bro. So I am really yeah. thankful for that. I'm starting my master's in the fall. Uh, sociology yeah, and anthropology, so oh, that's a good major right there. Yeah, gotta get that education, bro. Hey. Football ain't gonna be there forever. Yeah, it's yeah. black man, they can't tell you when I'm with the bachelor's and master's. Degree. Exactly, bro. That's all. Exactly. So, like, what's what's y'all expectation? Yeah, at this upcoming season, man. It's yeah. been a while since it's been a winning season. Like, I'm I'm, yeah. I'm kind of eager to see the season, man. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, you know, we got Coach Willie last year, the first year. Mm. Um, you know, really just had to turn the culture around and everything. Um, but like, we have positives that we are gonna take from last year into this year, and we have negatives that we are gonna learn from. So, uh, we ain't had a year we wanted to last year, but all we can do is learn from it and not take that into this year. Um, sure. But I like the morale around the team this year, like people working hard, uh, everybody bought in, you know, uh, as well as we got some new coaches. I like the way they teaching us and everything. Uh, but obviously the expectation is to win the MEAC, mm -hmm. uh, go to the Celebration Bowl, win the Celebration Bowl. Uh, but me, myself, man, I really, I really want to go to the playoffs. Yeah, that's, that's big. That's big. If we can go too. to, the, if we can win the MEAC. And like pass up the celebration bid, maybe or something. I don't really know how that work out. Yeah. Uh, but I really want to play in the playoffs because I want to play against the other top FCS schools mm -hmm. like JMU, Weber State, Eastern Washington, yeah, North Dakota State. Way. Like, and for me, like trying to go to the NFL, uh, the playoffs right give there. me more exposure to playing mm -hmm. against the best type of players. So, but we got a pretty good uh, non-conference schedule with App State, Towson, Northwestern. So I'm gonna be I've some big stayed, games. Yeah. I've, I've stayed first game, bro. I've I've stayed stayed right, so I'm turning stayed. for that. That's back in North Carolina too. So man. yeah, I'm turning for that, man. But obviously, like you know, we just trying to get better day by day. Um, you know, it's Corona stuff and kind of holding stuff up, but we still been working. We getting on the Zoom, Google Meet calls, uh, going over our plays and everything. But um, I'm excited for this team. You know, I think it's gonna be the start of something new and more. I think we're gonna change the culture around. Yeah. Trust me, man. I believe you. And be out there watching. Man. Oh yeah, for sure. But yeah, that's all today, man. Appreciate you, son. Appreciate for coming you, out. Man, congrats! So I seen you on the NFL Diamond Prospect. Oh yeah, appreciate yeah. that, bro. Appreciate Catch that, my bro. man this fall starting safety. Yes, sir. Out of North Carolina, number four. 
Yes, sir. Go ahead and tell them where to follow you at on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. They all the same. Uh, at S-I-M-G-A-T-4. SimGat4, man. Y'all shoot me a follow. Uh, I appreciate you for having me today, bro. Y'all no guys rock right with my dog, Remy. He got something good on the come up, man. Yeah. Uh, bro, super smart, man. Y'all support my bro, bro. Yeah. Uh, I'm really glad I got to do this interview. Got to open up to y'all. I get to see some other things. Get to see the other side of stuff. So I appreciate it, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe at Smoke Sports and go follow me on my Instagram at Rem Smoke and then the podcast page at Smoke Sports. And here we out. They in the game, but they about to quit. These racks ain't meant for everybody. Making plays, I've been balling like I'm Scotty.